Steve Rose, as we do each and every Monday at 20 past the hour. And don't forget, folks, Steve has an outstanding program here every trading day. Also, a great newsletter, a Mastering Probability. Now, it's very easy to get Steve's newsletter, folks. Come over to our website at TFNN. You hit newsletters. It's in our top row, right-hand side. You can get Mastering Probability for one month for $149. Get it for six months for six ninety five, which is a savings of one hundred and ninety nine dollars or twenty two percent. You get it for one full year for eleven ninety five, which is a savings of five hundred ninety three dollars and thirty three percent percent. And when you get the newsletter, folks, you're going to get all of Steve's tools that he uses each and every day to check out the market. It comes with a thirty day money back guarantee. Come over to our website, hit that newsletter button, hit Mastering Probability. Steve Rhodes, what's going on? Well, you know, for us folks down here in uh, Florida, uh, summer's over. School starts. School started today. I know. Oh, it starts today up in Tampa. Okay, it, we've got Wednesday that, here. Yeah. It, well, it's that today, and then it's full blown Thursday. Yeah. Yeah. Isn't that How crazy? About that? I know. Yeah. Especially I mean, remember, you being from Detroit, we from Boston. I mean, it, yes. it was always folks uh, the Thursday after Labor Day. Yeah. Exactly. That's right. where that's where I was going. So I mean, in my mind, right, we're still there, right? We we learned that when we were kids. So it was kind of amazing. You're going back to school already. It's just August. Seriously, and today's but, one of the hottest days we've had. So it's like, oh God, bless them, man. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So I, I heard you talking about. Um, Price getting up to that 45-35 area inside the ES Mini. So although this was not necessarily part of the part of what I was going to go through, I thought it was pertinent. Pertinent for especially for those folks that are trading the futures or just simply want to understand what the market is communicating to us. So if we take a look at the uh, two-hour time frame chart out here, I'll just simply expand it out. What we'll see is uh, 45 35 is a key area of, of resistance. So why did price get up to that level today and stop? And it did that a couple of times, as you mentioned. And what we'll see out here, you said 45 35 and a quarter, one tick. Well, 45 35 and a quarter, that is the top of this bearish structured profile for the two hour time frame. Okay. And what I want folks to understand is that if we do get it close, so this chart here is going to close, this time frame will close at four o'clock. And the next bar would be six to eight, and then eight to 10, so people can follow along. If price closes, Closes on a two hour basis above that 45 35 level, we get back, likely get back to the Friday highs out there. And that was the uh, highs that came in around 130 or so, 1 130 up at the 45 60 level. And if price gets above that, you can run up to 46 1. But that's not where we're at right now because price hasn't taken out that resistance. But I just wanted to show folks, and when, 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 Tom, when I'm, when I'm doing analysis of charts and certainly during the show out here um, from, from 11 to 12 each day, when price starts hitting resistance levels on one time frame, like here is a two-hour time frame, what I look for is are there topping signals on the intraday charts? Yes. And so those intraday charts here, I've got a 10 and a 15-minute chart now up for the ES Mini. What we can see, I'll just simply expand out the 15-minute chart to begin with. What we'll see out here, one of the patterns that I teach folks are the TD9 counts. In fact, on uh, Friday, when we had that nice rally going to the market, I posted into the den around 12.30 or 1 o'clock that there were TD9 tops that were forming. And, for each of the 30-minute charts and the 15-minute uh, charts as well. And I suggested people that we're going to see the first run to the downside. I gave them a, an initial price target, and obviously we kept going south. So these TD9 counts are really important. And in fact, as price was hitting that resistance level on the two-hour chart, we had a TD9 count. So what did it do? You know, in the shorter-term time frames, I'm totally sure trying to understand the longer-term time frame, what's it going to do? Well, what I know is on a shorter-term time frame, it's got to start breaking levels of support. So just because we have a top doesn't mean that that's it, it's curtains. It could just mean that price is going to pull back to test support and then move higher. Well, in this case here, the support levels that we'd be looking at would be those TAS market profiles. We looked at the two-hour market profile. Here's the bottom, here's the 15-minute profiles, and price just simply pulled back in that level of support, didn't do anything. Now, I'll give folks a couple of numbers to pay attention to overnight. And this is just a 15-minute chart, but still the number is going to be important. And if we start seeing price on a 15-minute basis close below 45.18, that tells us that we are headed lower out there. So we've got a number at the top, and we've got a number really at the bottom for overnight traders to kind of assess and understand what the market's communicating to us. So I thought I would just kind of stop, uh, share that share that with you and the folks that are listening. But, Tom, I'm bringing more gifts. I'm bearing more gifts today. And I'll show you what some of those gifts are. And so folks that are watching on Tiger TV or they're listening inside the, uh, watching on the Tiger's Den, this would be an excellent opportunity to take a snapshot of this specific screen. That is, if you're interested in what the diamonds, the spies, the Qs, the IWM, 
or any of the sectors with inside the S&P 500? Or how about just the Magnificent 7? And then a couple of those popular ETFs like the GLD, the SLV, the UNG, TLT, and USO. And the reason is, is because what I have here, and this is what subscribers get on a daily basis. They get this and much more than this, but certainly they get this. And what this Tom does is I've used those tools that you say so when people subscribe to Mastering Probability, they're going to learn my tools or I'm going to teach them my tools because I've got workshops out there that will do that. And they'll be able to also interpret what the markets are doing. So here, I just use all those tools. It's all automated. So if somebody was wondering on a daily basis, what are the Dow Diamonds doing right now? I've got them listed as consolidating, a consolidating bull market. If we look at the weekly time frame, so maybe you're more of an intermediate term trader for your longer term accounts, or maybe you, for your longer term trades, you use a monthly uh, outlook or a monthly time frame. So here we can see the weekly outlook is bullish. The monthly outlook is bullish. You kind of mentioned if you do a 0.618 retracement, typically the next time down, you're not going to bust through that area, maybe more of a consolidation. And, you know, that's what we have going on inside the Dow Diamonds, although you were talking about the spies. Really, we've got this consolidating pattern. Now, some of the other things that come with this. So if we're trying to understand, are the market it's potentially topping. Are they giving us topping signals This or bottoming signals? In this case here, if we take a look at the column, it says a daily uh, Roadsman Dominicator, RMI. This Look at all the confirmed tops that we have utilizing this tool out here. In fact, if inside the index ETFs, we've got a top in the SPIs, the Qs, and the IWM using that specific tool out here. What this also uh, does for us, it helps us to identify what are the TD9 counts. We talked about that when we looked at the 15-minute time frame chart. So these counts are as of yesterday's close. I'll get uh, this evening. I'll get it as of this evening's close out here. But, Tom, when the column here shows a minus 8 or minus 9 or minus 1 or plus 1, and we have a star next to it, it tells us that we have a valid bottoming pattern, valid TD9 count bottoming pattern. And that's what took place on Friday inside of the TLT. So uh, what we also have here, I provide resistance and support levels because it's really all about support and resistance and what's going on. Let me give you an example. The SPY's daily market outlook is in a consolidating bull. For me, what that means is really three things. Number one, the price oscillator. That needs to be above zero. How is that uh, defined on my system? If the line is green, that tells us the price oscillator above zero. That's number one. Price is trading below its oscillator and change line. It's most certainly do that. It's doing that. Now, what's cool about this is the spies today have just generated a new profile. When we opened the show, we were talking about profiles for resistance on that two-hour time frame chart. So we have a new profile. We have really a new level of support out here, which is at 447.59. Likewise, we have a real new resistance level, and it's a bear structured profile. And that says the sellers and the spies are hanging out between 452 and 454 out there. Uh, so uh, you've got so just try to teach people how how to read this. Here here's an example of the XLK. Uh, this snapshot was about a half an hour ago. It shows us that the bull pattern is over. Why is it over? Because price is trading below its oscillator and change line. Price is trading um, below. It says it's the top of the profile, so it should be below. It's trading below the uh, bottom of its profile out here. So the XLK is giving us a bearish message out there. So I just want to share with folks some of the tools and how to use that and what's contained inside the newsletter. And, folks, it's very easy to get the newsletter. And as you can see, with Steve lines this up. You have a confluence of events which brings yes. your probability much higher that you're going to be correct in your assessment, folks. Steve, you have a great one, a safe one, and we look forward to the show tomorrow. Thanks, Tom. Take Thank care. Thank you. Stay right there, folks. We'll come right back.